Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to congratulate the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the Government of United Arab Emirates on excellent organization of the COP28. Climate change remains a topping global issue, and the COP session reminds us of the need to take a holistic approach to it for a greener, more sustainable, peaceful, and healthier future. In 2015, we made a historic step by adopting the Paris Agreement. However, as the latest report of the International Panel on, China, on Climate Channel highlights, we are way off track from pathways for keeping its goals. The reasons for this numerous including with the continued really science and fossil fuel-based economies at its core. It is clear that we cannot continue down the path excessive and insensible exploration of hydrocarbons for energy production. Pising down the demand for supply of fossil fuels is an imperative. We need to build energy systems which are more carbon natural and less fossil fuel relation related to meet our ambitions for climate change mitigation. The solutions are there. We need to accelerate science and build on the positive developments of the last decade by doubling and tripling the use of renewable energy sources. For that end, we need sufficient climate financing with the loss and damage fund being an cornerstone. Dear attendees, as a mountains developing country, Armenia is facing many challenges in this area. World Bank projections for Armenia indicate warming at levels significantly above the global average of up to 4.7 degrees by the 2090s. Under the highest emissions pathway, this places Armenia among the most vulnerable countries in the Eastern European and Central Asia. Mr. President, Despite the serious humanitarian challenges and external security threats, Armenia takes proactive measures to fulfill our Paris Agreement promises, employing both conventional and innovative solutions that involve all segments of the society. In 2021, Armenia declared its post-2020 climate actions, an NDC with a 14% greenhouse reduction target by 2030. Recently, we developed long-term low emission development strategies to guide us toward carbon neutrality. Our climate ambitions are largely increased in the carbon natural energy transition. By 2030, we aim for a 15% of share of solar energy in our total energy production. Armenia firmly believes that the attention of our climate commitments can be achieved with long-term and sustainable use of nuclear power as a carbon nature source of energy and the preactive breach of efforts of the International Atomic Energy Agency in this regard. Armenia is determined to achieving its ambition targets and securing a clean and sustainable future for the next generation. We stand ready to further contribute to global efforts to this end. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your statement. Excellency Dr. Muhammad Al-Fahd President of Ghana. Excellency Dr. 